Boom, got him. What is up guys, NPS Reefer here, back at it with another video. Real excited for today's video, we got a live Aquarius shipment that just came in yesterday. I got some unboxing footage and some footage of me showing you guys what it is. Um, it's actually a day after the shipment came in, uh, but we have some mollies. We're going to go ahead and feed the frogfish and we're going to show you what we got in on our live Aquarius shipment. <laughs> All right, guys, just put the molly in the tank. The frogfish is slowly working its way over there. The molly has no clue what's happening right now. The molly is super clueless. Wait for it. Slowly lurking. This is the coolest frogfish I've ever seen in my whole life. Wait for it. The dog is barking. Oh my goodness, it's gonna happen, guys. Like I was like moving as slow as you possibly can. That's just crazy. And this Molly has no clue. Hurry up, dude. Wonder if I move my hand behind him if he'll slowly work his way up. Got him. Look at that. He is gone. That's the coolest frogfish. Look at him. Tom the frogfish. All right, guys, so over to the NPS system for what I got in um, on the live Aquarius shipment. We got two staghorn hermit crabs. I'm going to show some footage of this as well after this. And then we got the two tuna kits right here. And there is a Halloween hermit crab in here. Like I said, I'm going to show some footage because I already put the stuff in the tank. So we're going to go ahead and show some footage. New carnation's doing pretty well. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and show some footage right now. Here's one of the Halloween hermit crabs. Gorgeous color. It's not Oh, look at the leg. Starting to come out. Wow. So this one's going in the NPS tank. I put the other one. Look at that coloration, guys. Put the other one in my parents' tank. I am just really excited to put this in the NPS. Just look at all the color on these. But like I said, I originally ordered two and I put one in my parents' tank. Um, this guy's going in the NPS. I'm just going to kind of quickly acclimate them and we'll get them in because hermits are super hardy. So here are the two staghorn hermit crabs. They're really cool. They are super small. You can see this deli container. Uh, but I'm definitely thinking they're going to be a really cool addition to the NPS Reef. Already checking each other out. So really excited to get these guys in the tank. So their shells are actually like hydroids. Um, and they actually grow with the hermit. So as the hermit grows, the shell grows. Which is really cool. Um, so I just got to make sure these guys are well fed. Which they should be in my NPS Reef. They shouldn't have any problem at all. Oh, the actual hermit crabs themselves are super hardy. They just eat like algae and stuff. So that'll help out with the little piece of macroalgae all over in the tank. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys in the aquarium. Snap a few pictures. Get them on Instagram. And finish out this video. Alright guys. Everything is in their tank except for the pygmy coral croucher goby. Which I'm going to actually put in the Caribbean tank. Because simply that's the smallest contained environment where I don't think he's going to be harmed. Uh, but there's a the staghorn. Got two of those. The other one's just chilling in the middle right now. I move the carnation coral down a little ways, uh, so it kind of just stick grows out into the current. Uh, it seems to be doing really good, so, I mean, it's only been a week. Uh, but we got these two tuna kits in now. They're just starting to open. They are really cool. They're not as vibrant as I hope they're going to be, but I'm just kind of really right now hoping they don't melt or anything. And that they actually slowly propagate in the aquarium, which would be really cool. But these are very delicate animals, so I do got to pay attention to them. Uh, I don't mind the algae, but there is the Halloween Hermit. Um, like I said, I got two of those, but the other one's in my parents' tank. So just really excited to see this guy kind of grow and establish in the NPS Reef. So really excited this thing starting to come together. Um, I am planning on adding a starfish here soon just to kind of add some color and just more diversity to this aquarium. So really excited to see that happen here soon, hopefully this week. Uh, so next week you guys should have a starfish video so i'm not going to tell you what kind of starfish i'm getting but, but yeah this guy's by far my favorite so far out of the live aquaria order uh but i'm definitely gonna enjoy this pigment coral croucher go we look at this guy it's definitely something different they're actually related to uh the scorpion fish so really cool really excited this is pretty much gonna be a perfect day for me it's plenty of room to roam and doesn't have much to worry about because there's only three other fish in here. So he should do very well in this very well-established Caribbean reef. Like I said, this thing is doing extremely well. Look at all these polyps. 
So we're gonna get him out there soon. We'll probably drip him. So I'm just leaving him in the bag for probably another 15 minutes. Uh, and then we will get started with a drip acclimation. Um, I'll try to get a video of him in the aquarium after I release him. Not exactly sure that's gonna happen because he might go hide for a little bit. So other than that, I'll be back here shortly, hopefully to show you this guy. Well guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's going to be plenty of updates on this uh, shipment coming out to you on Facebook and everything. Just keeping you guys updated with the critters. Uh, one quick update, one of the staghorns just died. Um, it decided to crawl out of its shell for some odd reason. And the hawkfish decided to perch right by it and it snatched it right up. So that's a big, big bummer right there. Not very happy because uh, obviously, like it's a staghorn from a crowd, you don't want to see one of those go. Uh, but it's a circle of life, so hopefully I can grow out the shell a little bit. That'd be kind of cool, but it does kind of stink at the same time. Um, so eventually down the road, I might get another one. Uh, I'm not sure why he left the shell, uh, but that's, I guess it is my problem. But I'm not, I'm kind of clueless right now. So that's a bummer. Uh, but other than that, don't forget to be the fish, keep reefing, and feed them corals. We'll see you next time.